G'day YouTube. Well, anyway, what we have here is we have a sorry, we have a selection of screws, different sizes, and if we're wanting to sort these out, what we'd normally do is we would just pick out our size screw, drop it in the right box. We've got a smaller one, put that in the small box and so on so we sort those out by by size it's a bit longer that can go in there and so on so we know this can be a little bit tedious uh, there. and so on so you could, we could do that for the whole lot but if we want to if we want to use physics in a project, what we can do is we can use gravity to help us sort out our screws. So what I've done is I've come up with this plate. This plate has different uh, openings for the different size screws that we're wanting to uh, sort out. What we do is we put out, take, take them out. The lid's a little bit dicky on the box, but that doesn't matter. So basically, we just need to hold it on an angle. I, I screwed up. But I screwed up with making the actual um, box. Right now. So what we do is we just grab our screws, put them on here and let them go and let gravity come to our aid just need to sometimes we just need to give it a little bit of a push sometimes we should really probably put a bit more of a steeper steeper angle on here just to get them going Even these bigger ones seem to work. We could probably even make like an automated um, um, tool that we could machine. This one here, this one won't work because of we have uh, different, uh, sorry, we have some glue on it. Right, anyway, so there you go. We have sorted screws. Some small, medium, and large. Depending on the opening, we could we could put a couple more of these in. We could make it longer. We could make it X amount longer or whatever. Or X amount this way, depending on the actual um, ones that well the screws we're trying to sort out. That's how it works. We can't go nowhere but through. See ya.